Hi there, my name is Eli, and welcome back to my channel, Draculija. And today I am doing a toy hunt slash doll hunt. We're starting off at Walmart, and I found these new Rainbow High Swim and Style dolls. They're a budget line. I had picked up Sunny already, and I grabbed Violet as if I was going to buy her. I did end up, you know, putting her back. I decided against her, but she almost got me there. And then they had the new Walmart exclusive Littlest Pet Shop Kiki Jungle set. They had two of them, so I can tell that these have been popular. And I'm at a Walmart that I don't normally go to, so I'm glad I found these today. And this particular Walmart had a very pitiful section for Monster High. That was all that was left of their section. But they were stacked on Toralize, and Twyla has been like kind of off shelves for a long time too. Strangely, none of them were marked down or on sale, so didn't pick any of them up. Now I'm at a Target, and I noticed this clearance end cap had some of the Rainbow Junior High dolls on sale. Well, just one. They just had Laurel, but there was three. And she was $7.49, so of course I picked her up. I've been waiting for her to go on sale. But now I need to find her sister, Holly, so hopefully I can find her for a good price. There's this Illy doll right there. Now, here's their main Rainbow High section. This store was, like, picked out clean, which, like, makes me think that they probably already marked down a lot of their old dolls on clearance, like, probably Rainbow High Series 5, and I probably missed a lot of those sales, but at least I caught something. I'm really happy that I still got the one junior high doll for like $7.50. I love a good deal. And here's some Bratz dolls, some Shadow High Series 3, and what else do we got? Some Kylie dolls. I already have the Kylie dolls, so I don't need those. Bratz minis. So here's some more clearance. They had Ariel for $7.50, which is pretty good. And this Illy doll here was at $15, but the other one I showed earlier was like $20. I don't know why there's a discrepancy within the tags. And now I'm at another Target, but look at this freaking go back cart. Like, I love that. It reminds me of... Uh, Toy Story 3 when Lotso was like tied to the truck. And then this Target had like terrible clearance, but I noticed that Rainbow High bus was on sale as well as this giant aerial, so I figured why not show them. And their Rainbow High section was a little bit more stocked, but I think that's just because they haven't clearanced anything out at this particular store. So they still had some Series 5 dolls like Michelle and Priscilla, who I don't see a lot anymore. I really only see like Michelle, Aiden, Sometimes Victoria, but Priscilla's usually gone. And they, they, funny enough, they had Laurel there, not on sale. There's Aiden, as I was talking about. Some of the new, like, Pajama Party Junior High reboot dolls. And then I did scan this doll just to see if she was on sale. She wasn't. And then they have Bratz Babies Chloe. I was actually at this Target, like, a week ago, and they had all four of the Bratz Babies, so I'm glad to see those are popular. And Target's Monster High section is way better, as you can see, Neon Frights. Scared Eyes, the Core Dolls. Strangely enough, there's like Polly Pocket in the bottom left there, and there was a UPC code, so I don't know what that's about. Oh, that was the Saran Long Neck Cleo, but I already have that doll, but still pretty cool. They had the LOL OMG like Hello Kitty collab. They're all sold out, which of course, I mean, come on, it's freaking Hello Kitty. Some LOL Tweens dolls. Now, it's like February, beginning of February. Toy hunting and doll hunting is very still right now because there's not a lot of new releases. I was mainly going to look for some new LPS and for any clearance. So I found exactly that. So I guess it worked out, but it is just kind of a crap shoot. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. Now I'm checking out a Macy's because people have been posting that Macy's had had the new like LPS two packs. Unfortunately, I did not find them today at this particular Macy's, but it's okay. The hunt will carry on. I will find them eventually. They had some fantastic fashion here, the special edition Rainbow High Junior High Series 3 dolls, but I think they were on sale like maybe 20% or 15%, so fantastic fashion was ringing up at like $27.99, which isn't so bad, but I still wanted a bigger deal. <laughs> and some more of those uh, Hello Kitty LOL surprise dolls that are like little mysteries. Actually, I think you can pick which character you get, yeah, but I also passed on those as well. Okay, so I am now at another Macy's. This is actually two days later, so it is now Tuesday. And look at all of the selection. I am so happy. And I actually had to find this out using like a website called BrickSeek. And then I entered in the UPC code and my zip code, and I found out that this Macy's near me had these two packs in stock. So I was super excited and um, you know, sorting through them as best as I can. They had two boxes of them, and some of the characters are like some of the, you know, options. There were only one left, and yeah, I ended up picking up six of these, which was not the plan, but it's what I ended up doing. I told myself, you know, maybe I'll get four of the eight, 
Because there was one I didn't want. I didn't want the, I think it's the dolphin and the walrus. And then the other seven I did want. And I was only going to pick up four. I ended up grabbing six, which I will show you later on in the haul. But I was very excited. Very, very stoked. And then I just want to show off some of these other sets. This is the one with like the dog and the bird. And then that's the corgi and another bird. And then they also had the farm and the beach set. But I already have those two as well. And then at this mall, there was a Target. And this Target was stacked. This is one of the first times I've seen Venus out in the wild. She sells out everywhere near me and as you can see there's only three of her left so i thought that was pretty cool and i just love seeing monster high fully stocked on the shelves it is so beautiful and glorious so even though i didn't need any of them i still wanted to show them off and then at this mall they had a, a gasha pond store which of course i had to go into this was not on the like agenda but i went in there and was looking at all of the options i ended up picking two which you will see later and they cost about four dollars each so like two tokens uh, one token is two dollars so to you know get an item you had to basically spend four dollars i bought two items so i spent eight dollars and yeah i was pretty happy we're just showing off a lot of the selections i like sanrio and like cute kawaii things i love hemtaro they had lots of anime but i haven't really been keeping up with my anime lately so I'm not too interested in those and this is the first one that i chose you just stick your little tokens in twist it and the little Gashapon pops out of there. These are really cool. I've actually been to one in LA in Little Tokyo and they just opened this one up near me. So I was very excited. And I was pointing at the screen because that's the one I got. I got Hello Kitty. And then I wanted this Hamtaro one. It was so cute. I love little like phone charms like this. So I went for it and then nothing came out. I was like, what the freaking heck? And I just got my tokens back. I don't know. Maybe that one is empty. And I ended up going back to the Hamtaro machine later. So they have like multiples of the options around the store, like maybe one to three of each. So I found another Hamtaro that seemed to be actually stocked. And I put my coins in there and got my little Gashapon. Funny enough, for the Hello Kitty option, I got Hello Kitty. And then for the Hamtaro option, I got Hamtaro, but I wanted Bijou, but it's fine. These are so, so stinking cute. Okay, I am back from my toy hunt slash doll hunt. And this was quite the eventful toy hunt, if you, if I say so myself. I, you know, was not having high hopes. And in the end, I got what I was looking for. So that's very exciting. This all started on Saturday because I was at the mall and I wasn't filming Saturday. I was just casually there. And my Macy's had LPS, which, you know, I don't think up to that point they had been found at Macy's. But my Macy's only had like a play set and then the two five packs, the beach set and the farm set. I already had the beach set because I ordered that off Amazon. And then I was like, cool, let me pick up the farm set. So I got the farm one. as like a donkey, a goat, an ant, the rooster, and a Pomeranian. I love this set. I will show them up close later. And I was really excited. I was like, wow, I'm so happy. I found these. I'm like, you know, ooh, I'm on Cloud9. And then later I'm on social media. I'm on Reddit, to be exact, which like, yeah, I'm frequent frequenting the LPS Reddit, sue me. And someone posted on there that they had found the two packs at their Macy's. Which I'm like, you're freaking kidding. Like, I was just there. I didn't see the two packs. But, like, I want the two packs. So, that spawned this video, basically. So, the next day on Sunday, I, you know, bugged my fiancé. And was like, let's go shopping for those two packs. Like, let's see if we can find them. So, we had gone to a couple places. We went to, like, Walmart, Target, Macy's. And I didn't find the two packs on Sunday. I didn't find them. I wasn't lucky. I went to two Macy's. Neither of them had it. But, on that Sunday, I did find some things. I found this junior high rainbow high doll. This one is Laurel Devious. I got her on clearance for $7.49 when she normally retails for $25. So that was a great deal. I was very excited about that. I'm not going to open her quite yet. Um, I'm going to wait till I can find her twin sister. Who's her sister? Holly. But yeah, found her for $7.50. Like that's a great deal. That to me is like clearance deals. Like that's what I'm looking for. But the thing with Target, I'm just going to go on a little tangent. The thing with Target's clearance is it is so random and sporadic and it varies store to store. So I think they're so like they're so terrible to find clearance deals because it really is just like right place, right time if you're lucky. And I don't have the time nor convenience nor the desire to like frequent Target's like every single day looking for clearance sales, you know. So I got lucky here, but that Target was like cleaned out of their stock which probably tells me that they've clearanced out a lot. And then this is like what I caught. I caught like the tail end of it. So I'm still happy I caught something. But yeah, Target sucks in that sense, but whatever. 
And then at the Walmart that was near this Target slash Macy's that I don't normally frequent, I found, which I've already opened, I found this playset, which is the Tiki Jungle Play Pack for LPS. And it literally says, like, only at Walmart, there's a little sticker. And I've already opened that since. So I'll show that off real quick. That had uh, an iguana, a monkey, and a, is this like a cheetah? I don't know what this mold is called. I think it's like a jaguar mold, but depending on like the paint, it just changes the animal species. So I would call this a cheetah. And I really like this set. I love the iguana. Like that one is a sleeper for me. I really like the monkey and the cheetah is cool too. But the iguana is like the sleeper hit in this pack for me. And I wasn't like thinking much of him because I already have like the the mystery box. No, this is a, a tube, a three a tube set. I already have this iguana, which I like him, but like I love this one. So I picked up that set and I really like them. And honestly, I wasn't like too enthralled with that three pack. But then I saw that it was Walmart exclusive and it was my first time seeing it in store. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll get it. And I, you know, I didn't find the two packs that day. So I was like, okay, cool. That's the end of my toy hunt. Let's go. I'm happy. Whatever. Cool. Call it. Let's go home. And then, <laughs> and then what happens next is today I'm just like casually on my phone and once again, on the LPS Reddit and someone, I don't know what the post was or if someone commented on a post, but someone on the Reddit had mentioned like, oh, use the website BrickSeek and you can enter in the UPC and then you can find which stores have it. You have to have an account made. And embarrassingly enough, I have an account because I'm a former Funko Pop collector. So I've used that before to like hunt for certain items. And anyways, I use that website and I found out that a Macy's near me had these beauties in stock today. So I was able to like pinpoint exactly which stores had them and then I could just go there instead of like wasting my time driving to random Macy's hoping they had these in stock, which I did on Sunday, which if I had done this earlier on Sunday, I could have saved myself probably so much time and a headache. But I ended up finding other things, which, you know, it all balances itself out in some weird way, you know. But yeah, I found these today, which I'm very excited about, and I will go over these now. Okay, so like I said earlier, I was not intending on buying as many of these as I did, but they had two cases, and in each case, there comes two of each design. So there are eight designs, so each case has 16 total, which means this Macy's had 32 of them. And of those 32, some of the varieties were already down to like their last one. They only had one left of this one, the wolf cat and the axolotl. They only had one left of, is that a husky? I don't know what dog that is. Or is that just a wolf? Well, the little wolf, I think, and then the fish, they only had one left of that. They had one left of the horse and the woodpecker, one of those. They had two of the cat and German shepherd. I think they had only one left of the chameleon and toucan. And then I think they had two left of the opossum and llama, alpaca, whatever that one is. They had the most they had was the tiger and the kiwi bird. And then I think they had like two of the dolphin and the walrus, which I don't want that one. And I didn't pick up the tiger and the kiwi. I will get that one eventually, but I'm going to start with these six, which I mean is like half over half of the assortment, you know, but I wasn't sure like with these, like what the distribution is going to be like, where else they're going to show up. Even if they show up online, is it going to be one of those things where you order it and they just send you a random one? Like, I just don't know a lot about these. And I was excited that I found them. So I capitalized on that moment. And clearly someone else in my area had already found them because a lot of them were already picked through and like near sold out. So yeah, it's cool to see like LPS have this sort of like renaissance and resurgence, if you will. And I'm very excited to open these. So yeah, I will close this video out by just showing all these pets that I've gone recently because a lot of them are fairly new. Like these two packs, I'll show off the Tiki pack. I'll show off the beach set, the farm set. And, oh my gosh, I also have this one, the Safari set. I just got this off Amazon today. I know I'm going a little bit full throttle with LPS, and I am no, in no way like an LPS tuber. I am fully here trying to make videos about dolls, but, you know, this is a very LPS-heavy week, so I'm not planning on having a little mascot or none of that. Sorry. You know, I say that now, and then, like, watch me in like five months have a little LPS mascot. That'd be kind of funny. But no, that is not the plan. That is not the plan. It's not going to happen. This is just a one-off. There was already a one-off another week ago. This is a two-off, I guess you could say. 
And that's it, I swear. Okay, but now I'm going to open these and I'll show them off real quick. Okay, y'all, I am going to show off some sets now. Some of these weren't included in this video, but I still feel like they're relatively new. So we'll do kind of a rapid fire. We have this little dog. He is getting washed out. There we go. Is he, what is he? A terrier? Jack Russell Terrier? He's getting washed out. We'll add more friends. There's a pelican. Love the pelican. We have a dolphin. Cute, cute, cute. So this is like a little beach set. And then we also get a seagull. And a goldfish. I love them. I'd say my favorite from this five pack. We'll do like a quick favorites. Um, this is so strange, but I love this pelican. I think they're super cute. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say them. Also, the seagull. I like. <laughs> I like the seagull. Will they stand? Yes, they will stand. Does it look like a seagull? No, it doesn't. And I don't know what it looks like, but I really like them. And then very quickly, some of the random accessories that the set comes with. Picnic basket. Freaking peanuts. Don't know why. The tiniest little sailboat. Very, very it-coded. Like, where's Georgie? Where is he? Has anyone seen him? A watermelon. Love that one. Uh, a, a sippy cup? A sippy cup, yes, and some binoculars. That is the beach set. Beach besties, maybe? Is that what it's called? I don't know. I like it. On to the next one. Okay, so this set is kind of new because I did get it at Macy's just this past Saturday. I think this is like the farm set. Is it farm besties? We have a goat. I love this goat. I need like 10 of this little goat. I also love this Pomeranian. He's like this chocolatey brown color. His head and body do not match, but that's fine. Also very minimal paint detail my controversial lps opinion by the way is i don't like love the cats on dogs i know everyone does but i love the little like hooved fellows like the goat the horse the bull the cow those friends the donkey also yeah this is the ant my ant is very scuffed right here i didn't see that in store the scale of this ant is utterly ridiculous but i think they're really cute love the donkey tiny little guy and a rooster Love this one. He also kind of has trouble standing, but some of the best, best looking paint job. And then some of the accessories this set comes with. A fence. You get a fence. Hay. A hay bale. So maybe like the goat eats. Do goats eat hay? I think they eat hay. Yes. I. What the hell is this? A drum? Is that a drum? Whatever that is. There's a paw print. Is it milk? Maybe it's milk. I don't know. This. A bucket. And in the bucket, you can put the carrots it comes with to feed the donkey. Maybe the donkey. Apples. Who eats apples? What does the dog eat? Maybe the dog eats the paw print, like the milk. The apples can be for, I don't know, the rooster. Do roosters eat apples? Oh, you know what? The dog gets the dog bone. That's everything that comes in this little set. I love it. I think it's adorable. And on to the next one. Okay, this set, we get... An iguana. And we've already seen iguanas in the past. We had one in the tube pack that came with another rhino and axolotl. My iguana is so cute. I love both of them. They're kissing. Look at them. This color is just so striking. Like, I've been carrying this little iguana around with me the past couple of days. I love them. And dare I say, I think they're better than this one. They do have some subtle paint detail differences. Like, this one doesn't have any paint on its tail. And this one has extra markings on its legs and more thunderbolt prints on the side. Whereas this one only has like the chest star, whereas this one has a chest lightning bolt as well. Also, this is different. This is one solid paint color and this has two different paint colors. And initially, I didn't think I wanted this one, but I'm so glad I have them. And so, yeah, this one will go away. And then we have another kind of double. We have this, the cheetah. And in the mystery boxes, you can get this. What is this? The jaguar? A, a puma? I don't know what this is. But they're very different. I think they're cool. I do want the... What is the other one? The tiger, which I could have gone today, but I passed on. These ones have very similar eyes. The tiger has a different eye shape. But I have to say, I prefer the cheetah. Just the paint detail does a lot. Because this blind box one is very, very simple. The weird thing is the nose shape is different. If you see that. The noses look very different. But yeah, cheetah wins this one out as well. Sorry, little guy. And then in the set, we also get a monkey. Now, no one told me these little guys were tiny. This is so, this is such a little, little creature, a little baby. And I love him. 
And I have to say, I was riding the monkey out. I was riding him out, didn't really care about him. And now that I have him, chef's kiss. Love this little guy. And then these come with, <laughs> these come with a home, a house for them to all live in. They literally do. And you can, you can tear this apart like that. And, you know, you can play with it like that and they do fun little things and stuff. Yeah. And then it also comes with a bamboo, bamboo bench, bamboo bench. The monkey does not want to sit. And a banana for the monkey. And then my assumption is the bone is for the cheetah. And this little silver fish is for the iguana. I did not know iguanas eat fish, but I don't know what they eat. So I guess fish is one of those things. Yeah, I like this set from Walmart. $14.99. Pretty cool. Okay, we are on to the next three pack. This one is not Walmart exclusive. I got this from Amazon. I saw it at Macy's today. Yeah, I think it retails for 20 15 15 I think it retails for 15 You get this rhino. And we've also seen a rhino before in the tube three packs. So here are, uh, is a side by side. This one has toes. So there's no toes painted. But this one has a lightning bolt. Whereas this one has negative space stars. I love the freckles on her. Like she's kind of serving with that. Any other differences? I mean, if you care about, like, realistic colorways, chances are you'll like this little rhino. But the purple-pink rhino is kind of cute, too. And I love the sculpt of the body, like, all of the folds of the skin. I think these two are really precious. And I like them both. I'm not going to pick one. I think they can both live in harmony. But this one's got to go. And on to the next one. We get another monkey. Now, this monkey is also adorable. And I thought, to be honest, I was going to like her more than the red monkey. But I'm grabbing the red monkey. I think I like the red monkey more. Yeah, I do. I do. I don't know. This one has just such a silly energy. Maybe it's this dumb little haircut, but I really like both of them. And the, the heart on the chest is also just adorable. And I like the monkeys. I, I get the impression people don't like the monkeys, but like I do. They remind me of Super Monkey Ball. They're super cute. Very charming. I think these two are gorgeous. I love them. Okay. And then you also get the giraffe, which like, if you're buying the set, you probably want this baby. This is, yeah, he's getting washed out, but there he is. Gorgeous little guy. Look at this little dude. Very tall, pretty bobbly head. Nice paint job. I don't know why they painted some and then not the others. Okay. That's weird. And I think he's pretty cool. I like him. He's okay. I don't know. And then this set comes with a lot. The first thing that I think is of notice is this little like pouch that you can attach on the giraffe. Let's do that. Can you, or am I just making this up? It looks like you can put it on a creature. I'm going to do it off camera. You can, you can, it was easy off camera. Look at that. He's exploring. He's adventuring. That's amazing. This one comes with a car. Your LPS can drive. They can, they can explore the safari together. They're sightseeing humans and it's a, you know, it's a strange place. It's a strange time we're living in, but I like the car. Very cool. I was not expecting that. You also get other random things, a, a canteen, a canister. Can anyone wear that? Maybe if you like undo it, you can like wrap it around. I don't want to ruin the plastic. It's already whitening, but a little canteen of water is very cute. A compass that spins ever so slightly for the animals to, I don't know, adventure. Some leaves, such lettuce, I don't know. Binoculars, this one comes with like a dumb amount of accessories. A fire, a fire, yes. Another hay bale this thing <laughs> a tree oh it's, there's a hair on it you a tree a leaf a thing for the giraffe to eat that one's actually kind of cute and then another sippy cup so some repeat accessories overall you get a ton more accessories than you do in the walmart pack i don't know why that is the box is also bigger for the set but i think the price is the same i would recommend this set because it's very cute and I like the giraffe and i like the monkey the rhino is cool too i guess okay on to the next one Okay, we are on to our first two-pack, and before we look at both of them, sorry little doggy, I actually want to compare, because we have two of these cats now in Gen 7. This was in one of the tube packs, you can find it at Target, maybe Amazon, I don't know. And this is a new colorway, they're side by side, I think they're both very cute. I do like this one more, but I like them both, I like them both, I like the little paw, they both have their toe beans painted. They're both very different where I think they're both, you know, worthy in your collection. Funny enough, not funny, but the pupils are placed very differently, which actually do change like the personality of the cats. So 
do what you will with that information. But we'll say goodbye to this lucky cat and now look at the dog. I don't know what this mold is called. I'm just going off of what the coloring looks like. It looks like a German Shepherd, so I'm going to refer to it as a German Shepherd. Something is like this brown paint is very glossy, so you get a little bit of a shine there. But yeah, I like the German Shepherd. I'll be honest, I think these two pets are just okay. Like I said, I'm not obsessed with the cats and dogs, but this little two-pack is themed, and it's called Bark Couterie, like a charcuterie board. You get a little board with a strawberry and a grape that are like molded on. This block of cheese with an apple and a tin of sardines, like... You're kidding. End the video. Cut. It's over. This is the cutest one. And they can like go on a little date. They're gay. Everything's gay to me. So sorry. But oh, love them. Oh, they're making out. Okay. I love this set. Gorgeous. Definitely worth finding them at Macy's. And on to the next one. Okay. Our next set, we have this little pink opossum who does not want to sit. Sometimes if you like rearrange the head, it can help balance them. I find. Let's see if that works. Yeah, that kind of works with balancing the head situation. The opossum, look at that tail. It's like a rat tail. I love it. And they are going to want to get washed out today, so hopefully they don't. I like the opossum. That's such a weird pet. That's not even a pet. That's not a pet. And this is an alpaca, I think. I love the heart. I love the mold. I want like 10 of this little alpaca. Oh, my God. I love them. I love the heart on them. Very cute. One of my favorites from today. The opossum kind of looks like Rufus, like a naked mole rat. And they also have heart designs in their ears. I think they're pretty cute. And this one is themed to hide and seek. So you get this flower and they can sit on flower. Yes. And jump around. That one's cool. And then you get a visor and binoculars. And I guess they're going to play hide and seek. I don't know how, but the visor, does that actually fit anyone? I'm going to stick it on this thing just kidding just kidding one sec i'm gonna oh yeah you have to really squeeze it but once you squeeze it around you get it on and be real okay it does weigh his head down his little bobble so he's a little bit emo but look at the shade it's providing like actually working like he doesn't even need spf um this is the best thing i've ever seen in my entire life i love him i love him i love him okay pretty cool set on to the next one I've been wanting this pink axolotl from the get-go, and I'm so happy I have him. The wolf kitty is cute, and we will come back to you. But we had an axolotl in a tube pack, and this is it. Now we have both of the axolotls. Ooh, mine has like a little, little thing on the ear. Okay, is that an ear or is that a gill? I think it's a gill. And I like the axolotls. I mean, obviously, this one's really cool with the stars, even like the little bit of ombre on it. This one is a little bit less detailed. But I think pink is so cute for axolotls, so I love both of them, and they're besties, so sorry, not sorry. Okay, now the wolf kitty. This colorway is so stupid. I love it. I love the red on the ears and the paws. Like, it feels like a good balance between fantasy and real, real world, and I'm just going to say it. We're all thinking it. Something about this coloring, the red and the gray, I'm, I'm getting furry vibes. Like, this is a little too furry-esque for me. Um, yeah, but I still really like her. I really, really like her. She's something about her eyes with the red. She's popping. The little paw's cute. I'm sure this is going to be a fan favorite. Look at that little tail. Oh my God. Okay. And this one, another great theme, Divin Divas. They have a little lemonade, a little shell with a pearl. I'm sure you can like dive for that in the pool if you want to play in the bath or something. And some scuba goggles. Will they fit? Who do they fit? They're not going to fit you. Do they fit you? Let's see. Very roughly, they fit. Once again, it kind of weighs the head down, as you can see. I feel like they probably would look better on other pets. Like I don't know if they're fitting this little kitty that well. But still really cool accessories. I like the little accessories. And he's about to go... Or she tumble in for this little clam pearl thing. Yeah, I like this set. I think it's pretty cool. I'm really happy I have it. And on to the next one. Okay, now this one is just downright sick, nasty, twisted, demented. Like whoever at Basic Fun created the set, count your days. Because why is this set called Rock and Sushi? Who's eating that sushi? Because it's not my little angelfish, I'll tell you that. My fiance. Helped me unbox this set. And he was like, 
um, excuse me, why is the fish eating sushi? And I said, you're right. You're right. Why is the fish eating sushi? It makes no sense. Like the fish about to eat, is going to eat some shrimp. Maybe it can eat the veggie one, actually. That's like a cucumber one. So, okay, you know what? She's vegetarian. I take it back. I take it back. Everything I said earlier, I rescind it. And this is a wolf, I think, question mark. I don't know. Is it a wolf? I think it's a wolf. And I like them. Their molds are very fluffy, and they're pretty cool. Not a lot of paint other than on the head, which is fine. I think it's fine. Sometimes simple is good. But, yeah, you get this little sushi platter as well as, as well as, a boombox. I love the boombox. Like, it's so stupid. Like, they're eating, rocking out. Oh, oh, rock, rocking sushi. Oh, my God. It just clicked as if I'm 12. Okay. That's pretty cool. And then another one of these domes of cobs, but they got us dehydrated, you know? Like, okay. I like this set. I think this fish is amazing. Like, look at that. This looks like a grape, but it's scales. It's scales. Yeah. I like the little flowers on its head. I think this one is pretty good. Like both of these are brand new molds, only molds so far in G7 of these pets. So I think that's pretty cool. And I think they're, yeah, I like them. Okay, next one. Okay, this set featuring the purple chameleon and the toucan is called Artsy Pals. They are doing art. Now, before we get into the art, look at his poor eye. I did not notice that. I did not notice that, but it's okay. It's okay. There is another chameleon. It's in the blind boxes. I do not have him. I have this one who has a little sad hurt eye. And, you know, we'll just tilt him like that <laughs> so you don't see his other eyeball. I think he's cool. This is my first time holding and seeing him. I love the little classic chameleon hand. I think his mold is really friendly. And I actually like him from the front view with his bug eyes. I'm just sad my eye is misprinted. And the toucan. I, went, I want more bobble. The head's not bobbling as much as I want to bobble. But the beak is pretty cool the eyes look good the paint job on this one is a lot more solid little stars on the wings are very very precious and they are doing art so they have a palette the paintbrush and carrots i don't know who that's for the chameleon do they eat carrots maybe maybe they both eat carrots maybe they're sharing some carrots and doing some artwork together i think the set's okay it's probably my least favorite of the sets so far maybe because he's a little bit messed up which i didn't see that plus he's, he was the last one so didn't have much say in the matter and i like him i don't think i like him enough to want to get the green one in the blind boxes though so i'll be happy with just mr purple guy but yeah on to the next one okay next up we have the mm, woodpecker is it a woodpecker i think so or hummingbird i think it no that is giving like a little like woodpecker you know okay i like him but before we get into that we have another one of the clydesdale horse my clydesdale is wearing the scarf because he looks so handsome and yeah i think they're cool mine horse this guy the blind box one had a scuff on the heart which i'm sad about and this one also has hearts on the legs they're both brown like why would they give us two brown horses i feel like they could have switched it up this one's more like auburn light brown this one's kind of more like chocolatey brown they both have blue eyes this one has no face paint like this little like i don't know what you call that the mouth the head but this one has the little hooves painted so it really just depends what you're looking for i love both of them i really like the horses so i'm happy to have two horses i think they're both very cute and they feel different enough i guess and yeah like i said we also had Where'd you go? Who was it? Who did we have? Who came in this set? Where'd that pet go? Oh, the woodpecker. The woodpecker. They're cool. They're fine. The paint's pretty good. I like the birds, but I'm not vibing with the woodpecker. I don't know why, what, what it is that I'm not vibing with. Maybe I will later, so give it some time. Now, this one is like the most boring theme. I think it's just like farm pals. Let me look. <laughs> farm fiesta. You get carrots, a watermelon, and some apples. Like, this one's the most uninspired. Like, we've seen all these accessories before, so... Eh. It, can, it kind of can be, like, an extension on the little farm five pack. But theming-wise, the most boring. I still think the horse, though, is worth it. The woodpecker is cool, too. But I love the horse. And I think that does it for all of my LPS. That was... I tried to make that a rapid fire. I think it was much longer than intended to be. Also... Like all LPS, when you get these, 
you get a little collector's guide. You get a little card. I'll show all the cards real quick. And you get a little coin. Oh, there's a little code if you want a code. I'm not going to use it. So there you go. But actually, I'm not going to show the cards, but they all come with them. They're just little, they're just little cards. But yeah, that was my haul today. I'm in my LPS era and I'm happy. I'm fine with it. They're so fun. I like LPS. I just keep them in a little plastic bin. And then when I'm feeling like I want a little friend or companion, I'll like sift through it, grab one, put them in my pocket and just carry them throughout the day and know that I have a little friend with me. So that's that's why I like them. And whatever you do with them, that's your business. But I like them. Okay. That's, I think that's good. We we're, we're done here and that's all I have for you today. Thanks for joining me for my little toy haul, my adventures. This one's been a weird one. I don't, I don't know what's happened in today's video. We're just gonna, it's an anomaly. It's not gonna happen again, I swear. But that's all I have for you. My name is Eli and this is my channel, Jack Elijah. We will do more doll content in the future. The LPS just needed, you know, some, some time in the spotlight. And that time, that time has now come. Okay. Okay, goodbye.